Hey guys, I'm doing a really short tutorial video here on how to export your database and send it to someone securely. Um, I know a lot of you guys will probably want to do partial database export. However, uh, at least as far as I can tell with Loader Man Manager, you can't really do that. Um, so you're going to have to export your database fully, which may take a little bit more time. Uh, but it's pretty simple and easy. So. Um, just go to Folder Manager, make sure you're not running import. Uh, it won't let you do it if you're doing that. Um, go to Database Management. Um, it'll shut down Holder Manager and it'll bring up this, uh, this box right here. And your default password is going to be uh, right here, Postgres Pass. Um, if it's not that, then uh, check out uh, Holder Manager forums for more help. So um, take your database, your default database, and just hit export hands. Select it and hit export hands. Um, it can take quite a while for the hands to export, uh, perhaps a couple of hours, so make sure you do this when you have a fair amount of time. So we've exported the database and it's done. We go to its location and we will see that um, it's been exported in the form of a bunch of different notepad files. Um, unfortunately, I can't find a file sharing service that allows you to uh, share so many individual files. So what you will want to do is use a, um, a file compactor like um, 7-zip, which I will include uh, in the links below. Um, so. 7-zip is free and open source and basically what it will do is pack all your files together for you so you just click click download 7-zip and download it and install it and then I'll go into next how to pack your files okay so now that 7-zip is done installing all we have to do is open it up um, find the file that uh, the folder where the files are hit uh, select it and hit add um, a box will pop up and I would just uh, select the default settings and you can name the file how you like and hit OK uh, for me it took about 10 minutes for it to compress the file um, and once the file is compressed you can go to a file sending sites such as filemail.com and you just hit you enter your email or the email you're going to be sending it to which will probably be mine um, you're going to enter your email in this case I'll put mine a message this is the database and then just hit browse for files I have mine right here hit open and I'm actually gonna make my I'm gonna send it to myself um, and then just hit send uh, file mail uh, will only uh, send the files to the person that you have sent it to so your files should be secure if you like, under the advanced options here, um, you can select a password if you're worried about uh, the security of your database. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully this should help you guys uh, be able to send your databases uh, easily and securely. So I uh, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.